you reignited. We've got a good one for you. Let's get right into it. We're gonna start with three sets of 30 banded or 15 dumbbell backpack or kettlebell bicep curls. Then we're gonna go straight into 30 banded tricep extensions or if you have a dumbbell, kettlebell, or backpack. I'll show you how to do all of those. Then we have a burner. Option, teams of two or individual. Two rounds for time of you're doing teams, 50 synchro lunges, 25 alternating dumbbell snatches, synchro, 25 synchro push-ups, 25 synchro goblet squats, and then a 400 meter run or a two minute walker run. Two rounds of that. If you're doing this individually, 30 lunges, 30 alternating dumbbell snatches, 30 push-ups, 30 goblet squats, 400 meter run. If those are two big chunks of numbers, we have another option here, FX. 30 lunges, 15 dumbbell snatches, 15 push-ups, 15 goblet squats, and then a 300 meter run or 90 seconds walk run. Everything is two rounds. And then we're gonna do some abdominal work and we'll stretch. Let's get into warming up. Let's get into our warm up. I do want you to have either your backpack, your kettlebell, or your dumbbell. We're gonna start with those today with whichever object you're gonna use. Pick it up, flat back, now, chin to chest, we're just going to roll down with it. So jump and curl all the way down. And then come right back up. Let's do two more. Chin to chest, roll. And come back up. One more. And come back up. Let's do three deadlifts with your object. Soften your knees, shoulders back and down. Tap. And lift it up. Tap. And lift it up. Tap. And lift, good, and relax for one second. We're going to do three bent over rows with this. So go ahead, set, lift it up, stand all the way up. Hands forward, flat back. Three, two, one, good, and stand up. Let's do that all over again. Jefferson curl, three reps, turn to your chest, roll down.
Good. Come to the center. Stand up for a second. Watch me do this. We're going to do a couple of bounces. The bounces are going to be back, in the middle, and out. And watch this for one second. So I go back, middle, out, back, middle, and out. We're going to do five of those. You can have a soft bit of your knee if you need to. Go with that flat back. Getting ready for all of these dumbbell smashes. Let's do five of them, okay? Three, two, one. We go back, down, out, back, down, out, back, down, out. Two more, back, down, out. One more, back, down, out. Soften your knees, turn the chest, roll it up. Good work, all right. Let's open up our hips a little bit. Right leg forward, come down to your lunge. Here, left arm goes to your right knee, and I want you to twist towards the back wall. You can open up, twist. Good. Bring it back to the center. Two more. Open. And back to the center. One more. Open. Back to the center. In this position, I want you to think of driving your left knee down to the floor. Squeeze your hips. Hips are pushing forward. Arms come up. Let's actually bring them behind your head. Three lunges. Just stand it up. Good. Meet me here. And then we're going to tap down three times. So tap and lift. Tap and lift. One more. Tap and lift. Left leg comes back. Good. Right leg goes back. Right arm to your left knee. Let's do three twists. Remember, left arm opens and close. Go open. And close. One more. Open and close. Hands go behind your head. Meet me at the top of this movement. Tap it down three times. Tap and lift. Tap and lift. One more. Tap and lift. Both legs together. Good. We're going to go into our runner stretch. So just a longer stretch. Right leg forward. Back leg takes a big step back. Hips go down, squeeze your butt, squeeze your belly. Hands come to your thigh, so you can sink down a little lower. For three, two, one. Let's bring both hands to the outside of your toe, and then bring them back up. Tap the floor, bring it back up. Two more, tap, and up. One more, tap, and up. Left leg shoots up to me. Good. Switch legs, right leg goes back. Hips go down. Squeeze your butt. Squeeze your belly. Hands to your thigh. And toes. Fingers go to your toes. Go down. Back to your thigh. Down. Back to your thigh. Down. Back to your thigh. One more. Down. Back to your thigh. Right leg squeeze to meet it up. And let's go into our squat. Toes. Just slightly turned out. Let's do five air squats in three, two, one. Go down, squeeze it up, down, squeeze it up, down, squeeze it up. Two more, down, squeeze it up. One more, down, and squeeze it up. In our warm up, we're just gonna go ahead and go over all those movements. I'll do them in order so that we know and get it in our brains. So the first one are going to be lunges, 50 of them. You can do these walking, so walking, or you can do them in place, driving down, right back up. So let's do six together. Just a step forward, drive it back, step forward, drive it back. In three, two, one, step forward, drive it back. Step forward, drive it back. Step forward, three more, two more. Good, last one, yep, and relax. The next one are 25 alternating dumbbell snatches. Option one, you can do it with your dumbbell. So what I wanna do before we get into this is warm up our upper body a little bit. So grab whichever object you're gonna use, dumbbell, kettlebell, or backpack. Let's do three strict press in three, two, one. Drop it up. Right back down. Drop it up. Right back down. One more. Drop it up. Right back down. Good. Place it down. Single arm. I want you to bring it up. So 
this is going to be an Arnold press. I'm going to bring my palm in, drive right back out. Okay, meet me at the bottom. Let's just do three of these, slow and control. Drive it up. Good. Two. One more. Squeeze your butt. Squeeze your belly to the top. Yep. And switch sides. Let's bring your palm in. Three, two, one. Drive it up. Right back down. Drive it up. Right back down. One more. Drive it up. And down. Good. We're still warming up those snatches. So what I want you to do with dumbbell, kettlebell, and I'll show you what you can do with your backpack right now. I want you to do five slings per side. Booty back, squeeze forward. Booty back, squeeze forward. That's the dumbbell one. With your pack, same exact thing. You may just have to bring your legs a little wider, okay? And kettlebell is obviously just gonna be a regular kettlebell swing with one arm. Let's do five slings per side. In three, two, one, swing it. Two, three, four, five. Good. Switch sides. Three, two, one. Go back. Four. Three, two, one. Good. And relax. We're gonna warm up our snatches. I'm gonna show you each one with the backpack, the dumbbell, or the kettlebell. If you have no back pain, you're going to go to the floor. So each one, drive it up, right back down to the floor. Drive it up, right back down to the floor. Kettlebell, exactly the same. Just be gentle when you drive it up. Good. If you have a backpack, we're going to do two arms, just like a double kettlebell. Or a double dumbbell snatch. Grab it like this or like this. Whichever way is better for your pack. And you're just gonna go drive it up. <laughs> if you have a book bag, it's gonna look like this. I'm gonna do it hot dog style here. Right back down. Drive it up. Right back down. So I'm trying to keep the hook back close to my body as I possibly can. And relax. Option to go from the hay if you feel this at all in your lower back. So let's go ahead. Do six alternating dumbbell snatches at your own pace. Three, two, one, and we go for it. One more. Good. And relax. Next thing are push ups. Go ahead and warm those up. We're going to do five push ups. Option to go on your knees like this, or option to do them just like this. In three, two, one. Good, and when you're done, come down to your knees and rest. The last move we have are goblet squats. We've already worked up an air squat, and then you'll run for a walk run. So, those are all of our movements. We're gonna do our pump session next, and then we'll get right into our metcons since we already went over all the movements. Right now, grab your kettlebell, your dumbbell, or your book bag to do your bicep curls and your tricep extensions. Here we go. We've got, if you're going lighter, 30 bicep curls. If you're going a little heavier or you have two dumbbell or kettlebells, you're going to do 15. Then we're going into our tricep extensions. This can be done with a book bag. This can be done with your kettlebell, single dumbbell, or even a can of soup. It doesn't matter. Do 30. If it's really, really easy, we're going to do 15 if it's hard. I'm going to work my first round with a dumbbell. I only have one right now, so both hands are going to be on this. 
Shoulders go back and down. Feet directly to your hips. Soften your knees. Squeeze your belly. And go for it. Remember, if it's light, do 30. If it's a little heavier, do 15. Keep your elbows as tight to your body as you can. I'm on 10 right here. Got five more. Last two. Good. One more. And relax. Place the dumbbell down for a second. Options here. If you have your backpack, same exact thing. You can just flip it over your head. Elbows in. Bring it up and right back down. Or take the dumbbell or kettlebell. Just a normal tricep extension. Remember, if it's lighter, 30 reps. Heavier, let's do 15. Right here. In three, two, one. Go for it. Squeeze your belly. Try and make your elbows as close to your ears as you can. If you need to break, I'm on nine. I'm going to break for one second. Shake it out. And one to 15. And then get right back into it. Good. And finish it up if you need to. And then we're going to get right into our next step. We need to use a band this time. If you have a band, I'll show you how that can work. Stepping wider on the band is going to make it harder. All right, let's go into our banded or bicep curls. In three, two, one, go for it. Alright, start to finish up. Go one more. Good. And rest. For rest just a second, and then we'll get right into our tricep extensions. Here we go. In three, two, one. Tricep extension. If that was super easy for you, think of a tempo. Down, two, drive it up. Down, two, drive it up. Good. Taking my rest again. If you need to, take your rest, shake it out, and then we're going to get right back into it. Good work. And rest. We're going to take about a minute rest, and then we'll get into our last set. Shake out your arms. Okay, here we go. Last set of either 30 or 15 reps or bicep curls. In three, two, one, go for it. Remember, same exact thing here. You can do the tip though. Down, two, up, two. Most important thing. Trying to keep your shoulders back and down so we're not pulling on any more muscles other than our biceps. Good, about five more. Keep 
your belly as tight as you can. Good. And rest. Place it down. We have our last set of tricep extensions. Last set. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go for it. Taking my break. Good, good work. All right, we are done with our pump sesh. So remember, we have lunges, no weight. Snatches, we need some weight, whatever it may be. Push-ups, no weight, goblet squats, and then 400 meter run or walk and a run. I will post what we're doing on this video while we're doing it so you can look at the video and see what's coming up next. Two rounds, four times. You can either do it with a partner or you can do it individually. Get yourself set up and let's get to it. We've got 10 seconds on the clock. We are starting with lunges. Lunges in three, two, one. Lunge it out.
Keep the belly tight.
I'm trying to find it because I'm selecting. Twelve, one, two, three, 
11, 12, together, 3, 2, 1, go for it. If you need to take a second, heel to your hip flexors, shake it out. Halfway there, go for it. Good. Finish up the movement. A couple more seconds. All right, finish in three, two, one. Grab your object if you want to. Remember, you don't have to. You can just hold your arms down straight. Roll back down. Arms go up. Legs go up. Flex your feet. Contract your abdominals. Let's go left, left, forward. Bring it out. And back in. Extend. And in. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Two more. Eleven. Last one. And twelve. Good. Come back up. We're going to rest for 30 seconds. Make sure you rest. Okay, we're going in 10 seconds. Make sure your object is ready. Both legs are going to be on one side. You felt it in your hip flexors a lot that time. Bend your knees. Really focus on keeping your abdominals doing the work and not your hip flexors. Three, two, one, 12 of them. Rest in the middle if you need to. Good. And rest. Rest. Couple of seconds. If you're still working, finish it up. In three, two, one. Let's go into our dead hugs. Roll down. Straight arms. Legs into a tabletop. Press your lower back to the floor, and go for it. Option to bring your chin to your chest. That's two. Stay on my count. Slow and steady. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, last two, eleven, one more, good, and rest, bring it up, 30 seconds rest, going into our last set. Shake out your legs, loosen up your hips. Ten seconds, you're ready. In three, two, fingertips in front, almost lean forward, lift your heels up for one, two, three, four, five, six, rest for a second, shake out your hip flexors, and then let's get into it, three, two, one, we have six left, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Grab your dumbbell, lower down. Straight, strong arms. Legs to a tabletop. Lower back, glued to the floor. Chin to your chest. And go for it. One. Bring it in. Two. Four. Five. Check on your lower back. Is it glued to the floor? Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, eleven, one more, twelve, good. Roll up, put your object in front of you. Let's loosen up your hip flexors. Open your legs to where they're straight. Doesn't matter how close, so open them where they're straight. Grab your object and pull yourself down 
And relax here. Relax your chest. Relax your head. Breathe. Couple more seconds here. And roll it up. Bring your legs together. Cross your ankles with your object. Grab it. So you're pulling forward, but back is rounded, chin to chest. Breathe here. Roll up, switch legs in front, and relax over. this one. You're going to straighten your left leg. Cross your right leg over. The nook of my left elbow is going to hook in. Right arm goes behind my back. I'm going to twist. Breathe into your lower back. Slowly come back. Now hug this leg into you. Feel it in your glutes. And extend your right leg out. Left leg bends. Nook of your right elbow goes on your left leg. Left arm behind your lower back. Twist. Come back to the center, pull your leg into your chest. And bring it down. Come to your hands and your knees. Tuck your toes. Push your butt back into a downward dog. I want you to walk your calves out. You're going to hold the stretch in your right calf, pressing your heel all the way down. Switch legs. And relax. Walk your feet into your hands or hands to your feet. Relax down. Bend your knees. Squeeze your belly. Roll up one vertebrae at a time. And you are done. Awesome work today. I hope you got a good sweat in. And I will see you next week. Have a good weekend.